What is going on everybody? In today's video we're going to be taking a look at whether overclocked CPUs versus stock CPUs makes any difference in modern games. So in modern games where there's more utilization of more CPU cores, it's starting to become less apparent whether your CPU uh, speed and even performance has that much of an effect on your gaming performance. When you factor in what GPU the person is using, if you're comparing them in a benchmark or something like that, I feel like that plays a bigger part in the overall gaming performance. So in this benchmark suite, we only tested three games, Far Cry 4, Shadow of Mordor, and the newly released Witcher 3. All the games are maxed all the way to the right, except for Far Cry 4, which only has two times MSAA. I'm not personally a fan of MSAA, but the other games had it, so I figured I might as well throw a little bit on there. So for the system I ran all these tests on, we have an FX 8320 with stock speeds of 3.5 and an overclock speed of 4.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance memory, Gigabyte 970A UD3 motherboard, and an MSI GTX 970 for the graphics card. So let's take a look at these benchmark numbers and we'll see what we can conclude. So after taking a look at the benchmark numbers, there's not a whole lot of difference between a stock CPU and an overclocked CPU. The only game that seemed to show a bit of improvement was Far Cry 4, but for the most part, the difference is still pretty small within the realm of five to six FPS towards the upper 40s and mid 50s. So you're not gonna notice a whole lot of difference in gameplay. So I guess maybe the conclusion you can draw from this is maybe if you were trying to spring for the Extreme Edition 8-core CPU from Intel and trying to cheap out a little bit on your graphics card and go for a GTX 960, you might be better off cutting that down to maybe an i5 and getting maybe a GTX 970-980 or an R9 290 or 290X because it's more likely to suit you better when it comes to gaming performance. The CPU does still play an important part. Overclocking it will raise minimum FPSs and will be able to achieve higher FPS if the CPU is the actual bottleneck. In most other cases, your GPU is going to be bottlenecking the game and that's going to be where you're going to see most of your performance gains if you want to upgrade your hardware. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Hit the thumbs down button if you disliked it. Let me know why in the comments below. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and send those questions over there too. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos coming from this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.